His 18th question is, what is POD's religious wing and what is the religion that they practice? So I reply, the quasi-religion of the POD's ideal utopia, governed by Atlantean democracy, is based on a free energy and wireless electricity network replacing the need for a global economic system with the ability to manifest matter out of nothing. In the charter for the first Church Bank of Lemuria, included in the Atlantean constitutions and the POD omnibus document, it rations it out thus. God fulfills an innate human need intangibly, while tangible money serves as best as it can to feed humanity's physical needs. As monetary currency becomes increasingly electronic, intangible, and fiat itself, we ultimately witness what Marx predicted as the withering away of the dictatorship of the proletariat. This, being coupled with the mass production of micro-miniaturized technology, is due to the peak in the sunspot cycle that we are experiencing at this point in history. All of these components functioning together as current geopolitical trends tend toward either one of two possible outcomes. Either A, we destroy ourselves with our advanced weapons, or B, we end up developing technology that makes both our current economic system and our ancient belief in theism obsolete. If we end up in a timeline where we pursue the latter course of action, then the Lemurian church bank may be entertained as a means of keeping record of people's use of the free energy and wireless electricity network. This process should, of course, be no less voluntary than a transaction with a bank or praying at any church. However, by keeping accounts for individuals, this establishment could serve as both a church where people go to commune with a higher power and a moral bank where people can publicly keep score of the social use value of their personal deeds. <laughs>